Welcome to Curie Electronics. In this video, we are going to learn about purely resistive circuit. That is, if you connect a resistor across a pure resistor, pure resistor across a alternating current source, what is the relation between the voltage and the current? So we have a resistor R connected across a voltage source, alternating voltage source. And the alternating voltage source voltage V is given by Vm sin omega T. Here Vm is the peak value, peak value, peak value of the waveform. That is, if you have a waveform like this, this is the V peak. That is, here we have mentioned as Vm. This is also Vm in the opposite direction. For this this voltage source the direction of voltage will be keep on changing plus minus plus minus so so at a particular instant of time at one instant of time i will assume current is flowing like this this is i that is i have taken taken into consideration a particular instant of time at one instant of time, current is flowing like this. Now, uh, what is my intention? I want to find out what is the relation between voltage and current in a AC circuit, in a pure resistive AC circuit. Now, what I do, I will apply KVL here. In this circuit, I am going to apply KVL. What KVL says? Applied voltage equal to voltage drops in the circuit. So here applied voltage is V equals what is the voltage drop? That is IR is the voltage drop. IR is the voltage drop. Now from here I want to find I. I equal to V upon R. So what is V? V is given as Vm sin omega T. upon R. This Vm upon R this Vm upon R is a constant and we can write it as V by R equal to I but here we can write it as Im sin omega T Im sin omega T So here uh, omega, what is omega? Omega is the angular frequency or we can say it as 2 pi f that is the angular frequency. Now we have the voltage equation as well as the current equation. I, we will write it here and then we will analyze what is the relation. What is V? V equal to Vm sin omega t and I equal to I am sin omega t. I am sin omega t. So these are the two equations we got. Now from this we have to compare what is the phase, what is the phase relation between this voltage and current in a purely resistive AC circuit. To analyze that we should we should know let me write, I will write uh, two equations, let, let uh, V equal to Vm sin omega t plus pi by 2. This is one waveform. This is how we represent AC waveform. And current equal to I equal to Im 
sin omega t. We have the voltage waveform equation and the current waveform equation. Now if you want to find the phase, phase difference between these two. Phase difference. The phase difference is given by phase difference equal to a mod of phase of voltage phase of voltage minus minus okay minus phase of current phase of current if you take these two waveforms which is equal to mod of what is the phase of voltage that is this omega t term is the phase term that is omega t plus pi by 2 minus what is the phase of current that is omega t if you simplify this what happens omega t omega t cancels and pi by 2 so pi by 2 is the relation between in the in the these two waves wave equation pi by 2 is the relation between phase and voltage so voltage is leading in this these two equations voltage is leading current by 90 degree so similarly if you see here v equal to vm sin omega t and uh, i equal to im im sin omega t what is the phi phi is the phase difference what is phi phi equal to zero that means or zero degree they are so here we can say let's try to plot the waveform for the what we got what do we got v equal to vm sine omega t and i equal to i m sine omega t if you draw the graph graph for this that is a wave diagram if you draw what we get t and this is the amplitude amplitude if you plot this is our voltage this is our voltage what about current current is what i equal to v upon r but we know i and v are in phase but current value is comparatively lesser than the voltage because the denominator we have a resistance so the quantity decreases so this is this yellow one is the current what happens when voltage becomes zero current also becomes zero when voltage becomes maximum current also becomes maximum so this is our i i m sin omega t and what about the white one that is the v m cos omega t if you want if you want to represent by phaser how do you draw it in phaser diagram phaser phaser means it's a vector representation so if i take this as the zero degree zero degree uh, this let it be y axis this is y axis okay y axis and x axis is equal to zero degree uh, i am just going to represent the current waveform current no voltage this is v this is vm peak value i am plotting okay peak value and this is at an angle at an angle of omega t omega t is the angle of this vm then what about im im we know it is in phase with the vm so how do we but smaller than the value of magnitude magnitude of im is smaller than vm so it is like a one line comes a smaller line uh, in the same direction of vm that is i and v are in phase this is what i i am this arrow length of the arrow 
gives the magnitude of IM. And both are in phase, so both are in same direction. Simply if you want to draw, the simple way of representing, representing is phase diagram simply this is VM. IM also parallel to it, but low, low value. This is IM. This is the simplest way to represent in phase diagram. Now what we, now what is the conclusion? What how do we conclude that is that is in a purely resistive purely purely in a purely resistive AC circuit resistive AC circuit V and I are in phase, in phase that means there is no phase difference between the voltage and current in a pure resistive circuit. So here in the coming another three four lectures we are going to learn about this AC, AC different AC quantities that is AC quantities in the sense next we will study pure inductive circuit, pure capacity circuit, then RL circuit, RC circuit, LC circuit, series resonance. We will be continuously learning those topics. So I hope you understood this purely resistive circuit. If you like the video, please share with your friends and don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching.